Hello guys, welcome to Driving TV. In today's video, I will share with you tips to help you pass your driver's examination. Now, taking the driver's test, also known as the road test and behind the wheel test, can be indeed very nerve wracking. But there are ways you can prepare that will help you pass that test with flying colors on the very first try. Here are some helpful tips that will make you pass your driving test much easier and will help you pass it the first time. So best of luck and let's get started. So for starters, I would highly recommend you to take a vehicle that you are comfortable driving and that you had plenty of practice in. It is always easiest to pass your test in an automatic vehicle. If you plan on driving a manual, at least wait after the test. Make sure that you understand the controls of the vehicle that you will take the test in. For example, you should know how to easily turn the headlights on and off. If it starts to rain, use your wipers, and if it stops raining, turn them off. Use the car's controls properly will help show that you are confident on the road and ready to have your driver's license. Adjust your mirrors and then leave them there. Make sure that you do not adjust or move your mirrors during the test. So as soon as you get in the car, make sure that you wear your seatbelt. Put it on as soon as you get in, as soon as you get in guys, because trust me, it's one of the most important things that they'll be looking at. So during the test, pay attention, watch specifically for school zones, parks, and other areas where the speed limit might be reduced. Obey all road signs that you see, especially speed signs. When driving, hold on to the steering wheel with both hands at all times. Use proper hand placement and focus throughout the test. There are two acceptable ways to place your hands on the steering wheel. Some people choose to keep their hands at a 10 and 2, while others prefer 9 and 3. The reasoning between choosing 9 and 3 is that in the event of an air black deployment, you will be safer and less likely to be hit by your own hands. Holding the steering wheel is so important during the test. Don't let them go. Do not let your hands go from the wheel when you are turning. Don't stop too closely to the vehicle in front of you when you need to come to a stop. As a general rule, you should be able to see the tires of the car in front of you. During the test, do not cross solid lines as this will result in an instant and automatic fail. 
Pay attention to the road signs. It's critical if you want to pass your test. On many driving tests, you will be taken through an intersection with a no right turn on red sign. When you come to a four-way stop, pay attention. Who arrives first? When you come to a four-way stop, it is always first come, first served. Remember this. If you arrive at the same time as the car across from you, let them go first, especially if they are turning. When driving, try to stay in the right lane as much as possible. When you make a left-hand turn into the left lane, wait until it is safe and then carefully change lanes into the right lane. Always look over your shoulder before changing lanes and be sure to use your blinker. This is very important. Your test administrator will let you know if you should drive in any lane other than the right one. So pay attention to that. Now, do not be afraid to use your horn. Of course, this doesn't mean that you should use your horn excessively. If you get into a situation where a car is too close or is trying to come into your lane, then use your horn and let them know. This is perfectly fine. Now focus on your speed. And this is the last thing that I will tell you guys. It's very important. Focus on your speed. Maintaining constant speed is important. Watch for speed signs and always observe them. Remember that school zones and children's play areas may have a reduced speed. So pay close attention because this is very important. So remember, focus on your speed. So these are all important tips to best prepare you for your driver's examination. These general tips will be of great use if you keep them in mind. Remember to practice before attending the driver's examination. If you practice and learn all the road signs and regulations, then you should be more than ready and more prepared to pass. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the videos, make sure to leave a thumbs up, comment below, and remember to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Best of luck to you.